is a section of a strip of vertebrae showing a crush fracture as a result of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a reduction in the amount of bone mass leading to fractures after minimal trauma. So there is reduced production of osteoid. The bone matrix shows normal mineralization, but the bony trabeculae are thinned and more widely spaced. There are many risk factors for osteoporosis, particularly age-related bone loss, and this is especially so in postmenopausal women where there is oestrogen reduction. Other causes include a family history of osteoporosis, and osteoporosis is more frequent in whites and Asians than in the black population. Inactivity, for example, being confined to bed can lead to osteoporosis. Astronauts develop osteoporosis as a result of prolonged weightlessness. Other causes include Cushing syndrome and Addison's disease, steroids and antihistrogen medication, malnutrition and malabsorption, carcinomatosis and myeloma, alcohol and smoking, diabetes and liver disease, and localised osteoporosis may be caused by immobility as a result of arthritis, for example, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoporosis is really a silent condition until it manifests itself through a fracture, the commonest fractures being hip fractures, wrist fractures and collapse of vertebrae due to wedge fractures. This can result in kyphosis and scoliosis. The gold standard for diagnosing osteoporosis is the DEXA scan and here the bone mineral density is compared to that of a healthy young adult of the same sex. So if the T-score is minus 1 or more, for example minus 0 0.9, the result is normal. If the T-score is between minus 1 and minus 2.5 standard deviations, this indicates the patient has osteopenia. And if the T-score is below minus 2.5 standard deviations, this means the patient has got osteoporosis. So osteopenia and osteoporosis are part of the same spectrum. Treatments available for osteoporosis include biphosphonates, selective oestrogen receptor modulators, HRT, biological medicines and calcium and vitamin D supplements. Ways of reducing the risk of developing osteoporosis including exercise, especially resistance and weight training, having a diet rich in calcium and vitamin D, stopping smoking and reducing alcohol intake, and women can reduce the risk of developing osteoporosis who are postmenopausal by taking hormone replacement therapy. The histological changes in osteoporosis are thinned and separated bony trabeculae showing normal mineralization. Complications of osteoporosis obviously include fractures, especially those of the hips, wrists and vertebrae, bone pain, deformities from the fractures and loss of muscle mass. If the osteoporosis occurs rapidly, for example in an astronaut, this could result in hypercalcemia and kidney stones. And of course in a number of cases osteoporosis may prove fatal, particularly if the patient develops a pulmonary embolus or pneumonia as a result of a fracture. Here is an h &E stain showing thinned, widely separated bony trabeculae in a case of osteoporosis. And this is an even better example of osteoporosis. The bony trabeculae have been stained black with the von Kosser stain. You can see how thin the trabeculae are, and also they are quite widely spaced and separated. And this is what happens when there is a crush fracture of vertebrae 
the vertebrae become squashed and this results in a kyphosis or deformity of the spine sometimes known as a dowager's hump. A uh, dowager's hump of course refers to the physical appearance of the dowager and not the physical activity of the dowager. 